We all know who the Gotham Sirens are, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, and Poison Ivy, but do you know that there was another trinity of Batman female villains, that being Dragonfly, Tiger Moth, and Silken Spider, all of whom have bug-related names, which is weird because they didn't actually form together, therefore they all just happened to chose bug-related names and then teamed up. Now, they would actually first appear in Poison Ivy's first appearance in Batman issue 181 from 1966, where they were Poison Ivy's competition for the most attractive female villains. Yes, that was the plot. Well, the plot is stupid, Poison Ivy being the main villain actually manages to stand out, due to the fact that Jason actually has a very competent plan, as even though it's for something very stupid, she does generally, I think, pull it off, by tricking all the girls into going to fight for a crown, only to have it laced with some electronic device, that electrocutes them and takes them out of the competition. But what I want to know is why are they all bug named? Because they have no relation to one another, having not met until Poison Ivy tricked them into trying to murder each other. So why do they all have the same type of animal relation? Like, none of them have mammal names. None of them have, you know, reptile names. They all have bug names. And it's more uncomfortable because they're trying to compete who's most attractive, and all of them have bug names except for Poison Ivy. <laughs> Maybe I'm just reading into it too much, but I think that is a really, really odd choice to give them all bug names. They wouldn't return to a post-crisis during the time Stephanie Brown was training as Robin, where they would appear with no lines and just be taken out by Robin. There's also a character change with Silken Spider, the character having been depicted as Caucasian pre-crisis, but African-American post-crisis. They would also be a big part of the resurrection of Roswell Ghoul arc, revealing that post-crisis Tiger Moth, Silken Spider, and Dragonfly are actually members of the League of Assassins, and attack Wayne Manor under Ra's Ghoul's order, where they all finally talk along with it being implied that the three of them have been a team since becoming villains, which actually explains why they're all named Bugs. But pre-Crisis, that wasn't the case. So I'm still curious, why are they named Bugs? And also, post-Crisis, despite the fact that at least it kind of makes sense that they had just happened all three of them, because they all teamed up beforehand getting those names, why they choose bugs? Now I have even more questions. And they would come back one last time where they were among the villains ambushing the JSA in the tape worm. Why are they fighting the JSA now? I don't actually know. It, they're just really in the background, but it's still really odd that they just randomly show up to fight the JSA. Personally, though, the three of them, well, not very interesting on their own. I think all of them have great character designs. I think Silk and Spider has the best. Well, Dragonfly, I think, is kind of lacking when it comes down to it compared to Tiger Moth and Silken Spider. As her outfit, I feel as if it's just trying to show off. Which, there's nothing wrong about that, by the way. I'm not trying to say anything bad about that. It just feels really weird that she doesn't really have much of a Dragonfly theme for someone who is named Dragonfly. But I think the other two are spot on. And in my opinion, it's kind of a waste of characters because I think that they really do have great designs. They've only spoken a total of 19 times, and a lot of time it's in unison when they're trying to tell Poison Ivy, no, I'm the main villain. It generally just feels like they were all created just for that story, and then for some unknown reason came back. It doesn't really make much sense why they come back. I do think they have cool designs, like I said, and if they were to return, I'd be up for that. Perhaps uh, have them maybe separated, as I feel as if when they come together, they kind of overshadow one another. But of course, that's my own opinion. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.